Well, for those of you who have gotten married recently, or maybe even in the distant past, you know that tying the knot does not come cheap. And Tom has two daughters. That's <laughs> fact, right. The average wedding now costs Tom about $22,000. Well, if you or someone you know are planning the big day but want to skip the big bill, well, listen up. Carol Keck reports, now there is a way to have your cake and eat it too. At the cost, you will always believe in him. When Tom and Sabrina Anderson took a trip down the aisle, it was nothing short of their dream wedding. The quality of everything that we had was top of the line. Top of the line means mega cost, but the couple barely All paid right. for any of it. How? I would say probably 80% of our wedding was sponsored. That's right, okay. sponsored. Okay. Everything from the food to the veil, even the wedding bands donated by local businesses in return for advertising at the reception. We had a scroll at each place setting mm -hmm. with all the different sponsors. We actually had t-shirts printed up with each vendor's logo on the back. The whole point of getting things that are economically more feasible to us is very appealing. Judith Ann Graham, author of My Bride Guide, says sponsored weddings can be a great way to save as long as both the bride and the groom are in it for better or worse. You can't ask for sponsorship with one or the other being uncomfortable or being feeling queasy about asking such bold questions. Once you decide to scout for sponsors, retail experts say your best bet will be smaller, newer companies. What a wonderful way to get your card, your logo, your brand out there to the general public. When looking for vendors, be prepared for a lot of legwork. I approached, um, I would say probably anywhere in the range of 80 to 100 vendors. Uh, we wound up overall having 24 sponsors. While sponsored weddings may seem like a win-win situation, you will find some who object. When you bring commercialization into a private event, it strips it of its genuineness. Millie Martini Bratton, the editor-in-chief of Brides Magazine, says there are other ways to save. A breakfast is less expensive than a lunch. A lunch is less expensive than a dinner. You don't have to invite your best friend from the fourth grade. But Tom and Sabrina say the donations made their lavish day possible without skimping and without financial stress after the honeymoon. We never had debt from our wedding. Cheryl Keck, 13 Eyewitness News. Well, if you are thinking about having a sponsored wedding, make sure those companies are professional so you won't be disappointed on your big day. And check out more wedding money-saving tips on our website. That's at abc13.com.